Hi guys, what's up? What's going on? Hope you are good. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Binance feature uh, feature on the Binance app. That is how you can trade Binance features using their mobile app. So before we start, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any educative video like this on trading, investing and online business. And let's dive in. So Binance Future is quite easy to use and um, what you need to do is the, to open the Binance app then head over to the Features tab. It's at the bottom right, the second icon at the bottom right. So I'll click on Features and it takes me there. Now to use the Features um, platform, you must have USDT which stands for U, uh, Theta US. And what you need to do is to click on this um, parallel arrow, one going down, one going up, to transfer. So what you do is you transfer your USDT, this USDT, from your, you, you transfer it from your spot wallet to your USDT futures wallet. So um, I already transferred, but let me just show you how you do it. You click on USDT here. Then you type the amount, then you transfer it to your wallet. So let's go to my wallet and see what is there. So right now I have about 101 USDT in my um, futures wallet. And before you start trading, you need to know the markets that, that are on the futures market. So we have about seven of them bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash xrp eos litecoin and um um Ethereum classic so personally most times i trade bitcoin ethereum and bch so um you don't you need to click on the market so i'll click on the bitcoin cash usdt market and um as you can see the first thing you see is the tab that shows isolated now, whenever you are trading features, always make sure that you choose isolated. I repeat, make sure that you choose isolated because isolated means that you are only going to lose the, the margin, which is the amount that you are using on that trade. That's what you lose in case your trade goes, the trade goes against you. Maybe the price just gets falling and the, the trade didn't go as planned and start losing money sharply. You only lose the isolated amount. But if we choose cross, all the balance in your account will be used to what to service that trade. So this future is, is a perpetual contract, I think, because what a perpetual contract is means is that all your your if, if you are using cross, all your capital will be used to service that trade. So if trade keeps going against you, you keep losing till you have lost all your capital except if you use a stop loss but this is the first step you need to, to do always make sure you click on isolated so if you enter a trade with a margin of five dollar you are only going to lose that five dollar if there's a sharp increase because sometimes your stop loss might not be triggered okay so once you confirm that it's on isolated let's go to the leverage now always make sure that you did not exceed 10x leverage as you can see here I have 10x set as my default. Make sure that you don't exceed it. Anything that is exceeding 10x is more of gambling. And let me let me shock you by explaining something to you. 10x leverage means that you lose that trade if Bitcoin should what drop by 10%, which is possible. Hello. Hello. So I said 10x leverage. 10x leverage means that you lose your what? Your trade if it's going to drop by 10%. If you use um, 20x, let's go to 20x. 20x means that you lose your trade if Bitcoin should drop by what? 5% in price. And for those that don't know, Bitcoin is a very volatile market. And most times we see an average daily volatility of 5%. So if it just goes against you on an average day, you lose your money. So that's why I said, don't exceed 10 next. Most people will not listen. And that's how they lose their money. Let's go back to 10 next. 
And most is it preferable to, to use 5x? 5x means that you lose your money if Bitcoin should drop by 20%. And most likely before it drops by 20%, you have already put your stop loss and you know you're out of the market. So let's confirm. Alright. So the next thing is to choose whether you want to buy or sell. Now before you the way you choose whether you want to buy or sell is by doing your analysis proper technical analysis let me just give you a tip if price already falls to like this point here or this point here you can decide to buy it's more in your favor but if price has gone up a lot buying there is risky that's just a tip anyway uh uh i don't know the um, your skill set in trading so i can't i can't advise you on what to do you need to still learn more find a mentor all right so the next thing is to choose the amount make sure that you don't what trade with all your what your capital hello can you hear me so make sure that you don't trade with all your capital most people do it a lot So sorry, let me figure out something. Let me click on buy. So uh, let's say I want to sell the market. I can sell if I'm using 10x. I can sell up to 2.046 Bitcoin cash. But make sure that you don't drag this uh, scroll to 100% and use 100% of your capital on this isolated trade. No, just. 25% 25% is fine Sometimes I use 50% but it's rare It's rare I use 25% so I know that okay for this trade I'll be using 25% of my capital And I'll be able to place a trade of 0.47 Bitcoin cash You understand? Then I'll click on what? Sell shorts so if I click on it, it's going to sell. Um, it's going to place a sell order of 0.47 Bitcoin, and um, and um, you know it will be here. Yeah. So right now I I have a trade. I bought Bitcoin Cash at um, 307.68 uh, yesterday, and I'm currently at a loss of 4.47 dollars here. Yeah. So as you can see, this is an isolated what trade. I use about 25% of my capital, so I'm risking $42 on this trade. And that's my margin. That's the amount I'm using to, to place that trade. Okay. If you scroll below, you see the liquidation price. If price should fall to $289, if price of Bitcoin cash should fall from the current price which is 305.22 to 289.00 i will lose all this capital for 2.08 i don't want to lose all this capital so what i will do is i'll set a stop profit or stop loss but first i show you how to set it let's look at what i've done i have my stop profit here i even set two of it so if price should fall to 303.39 what's the current price 305.18 if price should fall to 303.39 my stop loss is going to be activated if price should fall to 304.21 my stop loss is going to be activated and um, i will cut my loss it's very important you cut your loss but there are some rare cases some funny scenarios that the price will drop sharply and what your stop loss will not be triggered and in such occurrence you might lose your capital that's why we said don't use cross what margin always use isolated so at worst if i'll be losing that trade i will only lose this my margin of 42 dollars i will not go and lose my own one on one proceed so use isolated and set the stop loss so i'll show you how to set the stop loss you click on stop profit and loss you click on stop limit then you set your stop price now the current price is 305.61 if my if the price should go to 304.2 i want to sell at what 304.18 if price should go to 
I want to sell at three o four point one eight. And what's my estimated profit and loss? I'll, I'll, I'm losing seven point one seven US dollar. That's about three thousand five hundred naira. Fine. It's better for me to lose this amount than lose all my words capital. What some people fail to realize is that sometimes it's better to cut small losses than lose all your capital. So I'll click on confirm. I'll click on confirm sell. So if you check here, you see it here. Yeah, it's here. So this is the new stop loss I just set now. It's there. It's there. So that's that about um trading futures uh, markets. Let me uh, recap. Let me recap. So I said the first thing is choose your market, right? Uh, make sure that you are always on isolated, right? Make sure you don't go above 10x uh, leverage. I repeat, don't go above it. Next, make sure that you don't want to use all your capital. 25% is good per trade. Next, make sure that you set a what a stop profit or stop loss. The same way I said the stop loss, I can set the stop profit that okay. If the price you get to 30 20.23 sell my Bitcoin cash at 320.1. How much profit am I making? $25. Confirm. Confirm the sale. So you can also set stop loss and stop uh, profit. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something new. If you have any question, kindly put it down in the comment section below. And before you leave, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss more educative content like this on trading, investing, and um, online business. And until next time, my friend, keep learning. Bye.